scratches, fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. The belt. It's caked in blood. Here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. One piece apart from the others. Purple. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe. That drawing looks like Alfred. Highlighted words read, To Arkham. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He's modified one of her own Lady Arkham drawings to include himself. And these two words. To Arkham. The chief. Going to Arkham, and she's taking Alfred with her. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his pain. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the butler, or the rest of Gotham. The lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You are tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed 
of the revenge I take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Children of Arkham, did you see her? They went. to see your work in person. <sighs> Jesus. Gordon's here! We'll round up the rest. 
rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham! condemned to this place unwillingly they speak through the walls their ghosts walk they know the way i can't help those people now but i can help alfred pennyworth take me to him my pleasure You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <sighs> ah! Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, Bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men! <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath.
Come on, Alfred. You... you... you came. You came for me. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman! Don't you- Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really if that's what it will take to save you. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family! Stop thinking. 
as to last week's events at Arkham Asylum. A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Don't worry. 
It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. But before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. That, that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. There's half open Batman might show up, too. And what am I knowing he was keeping an eye on things here? Not to mention... <laughs> makes one hell of an impression on people. So, so does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, let's play by my rules? No, no. But to fight is this city? Hell yes. Alright, ready for you, Commissioner. Commissioner. During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope, hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, now in the last few weeks, weeks as, as much violence and terror as I've seen, seen I've also seen, also seen the, the citizens, citizens of this community band together, together to fight those threats. One, one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough, tough doc to follow. <laughs> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. And many of you have suffered terrible losses. Some of those losses came in the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. much I want to. I can't, can't change the past. Gotham's so-called so golden age was built on corruption and lies. But that doesn't mean that going forward we can't do things differently. We have to do things differently. If my recent incident with the heart and edge has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer set the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering by others. I, I think it's time to repay I, I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a closer alliance between the GCD and the Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment that they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCED will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country, because the people of Gotham deserve to be feel safe. speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does come up well. See you soon. 